So we'll use this method to estimate mine as an example. 24 times three, 72, resting heart rate. 220 take away the 44 equals 176 maximum heart rate. 176 divided by 72 equals 2.44. 2.44 times 15.3 equals 37.3 estimated VO2 max. So here's a few more numbers and what they suggest. We'll start from men. So a poor reading would be 30 milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of weight. For a good reading, 30 to 40 milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of weight. Above 35 milliliters per kilogram of weight would be considered fit. Here's the numbers and what you would suggest for women. A poor reading would be 25 milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of weight per a minute. For a good reading, it would be 25 to 35 milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of weight per a minute. And above 30 milliliters for a kilogram of weight per a minute would be considered fit. More precise methods of testing, a lactate threshold test which is a laboratory test that measures your oxygen consumption and carbon dioxide production during exercise, providing more accurate VO2 max measurements. Bleep test or shuttle runs. This involves running back and forth between two points as quick as possible with the speed of the bleeps increasing over time. The distance covered and the time taken are used to estimate the VO2 max. Fitness tracker. Some smartwatches and fitness trackers can estimate VO2 max based on your activity and heart rate data.